surgical treatment for dysplastic hip. If surgical repair is needed, it's commonly done around 18 months of age. A groin incision is made and the adductor longus tendon is cut to improve mobilization of the hip. An anterior bikini incision is made to expose the pelvis and the rectus femoris tendon is cut to expose the hip. The capsule that covers the head of the femur is exposed. The capsule is opened and the ligamentum teres is identified and cut. An incision is made on the side of the upper thigh and the muscle split to expose the femur. The shaft of the femur is cut. The femur is rotated and secured with a plate and screws and the incision is then closed. This helps direct the ball of the hip into the socket. A portion of the iliac crest is removed to be later used for grafting and the pelvis is cut just above the hip socket. Pins are placed into position. The lower half of the pelvis is rotated so that the socket better covers the ball of the hip. The removed portion of iliac crest is used to help fill the gap. The pins are advanced to secure the position and then cut to size. The capsule is trimmed to remove excess tissue and then sutured closed. The area is packed with bone graft to encourage healing and new bone formation. The tendon is reattached and the incision is closed. The patient will be placed in a spica cast for a duration of about six weeks. A new cast will be applied to maintain position for an additional six weeks. 